Hi, it's Muji or Bored Black Girl, and you've been the title of this video, so you already know what's going on. As you may know, I have been doing a 12 book challenge this year where I have challenged myself to read 12 books because I actually made a 12 book and 24 book challenge digital reading tracker, which you guys can purchase at my Etsy shop, Bored Black Girl Prints, which will of course be in the description. Now, unfortunately i have not done one of these in a little bit not only because i have not posted on youtube in a month but also because i actually did not end up finishing the book that i read before my most recent book if that makes sense hopefully i worded that correctly but once i start to share my screen and show you guys my digital reading journal you know a little bit more of what i mean all right now the last book that i ended up putting in here i believe let's scroll yep was hot streak by susan johnson now i actually did not end up finishing this book which means that um i can't really fill out this stuff because i did not finish the book i could fill it out but i kind of feel like it isn't really exactly fair because i haven't read the whole book so i don't know if i will still absolutely hate who i might hate now or absolutely love who i love now though i am thankful for the fact that i stopped reading the book it is unfortunate because that means if we go back to our goal tracker that means that i am not going to have 12 books unless i find another book to read which I was not planning for but you know what i love a bit of a challenge so maybe i will find another book to throw in the mix but besides our goal tracker it is time for us to update our library we are now on library three and we actually have two books today we have my book for august which was twisted by emily mcintyre now i'm actually going to be coming out with a reading vlog as well as a either books and beauty or library trash video on this book where i will be talking more in depth about my opinions on it but of course i will also be giving you guys my opinion right here as i fill out the digital reading journal now my book for september is actually a bit of a different book i'm not sure if this classified as like a graphic novel I don't know the correct terminology don't come for me but it is heartstopper volume one by alice elsman i'm super excited to read this book because not only will i be giving you guys a review of this book it is my first time reading a book in this kind of style in a while i have been really sticking to books that are strictly words so i'm excited to take a look at it and along with me doing videos on the book i will actually be doing a video where i compare the book to the tv show and a video where i talk about the tv show so if you guys are interested in heartstoppers be prepared to see a lot of me and this book because i have a lot of heartstopper videos coming soon so how about we get started with our reading journal all right, so we are going to start by just adding our picture for Twisted. Honestly, I really like the thumbnail, I can't lie. And I don't know why it took me so long to realize that the diamond on the thumbnail is because um, Jasmine's father's, you know, the business is about diamonds. Um, that's a little bit embarrassing, but you know what? Um, we all make mistakes. All right, let's fill out the title. Honestly, I was not really sure how to say her name until one day it randomly hit me that it's McIntyre. I guess I'd never really spelt or seen McIntyre actually spelt out. So when I saw it, I was like, wait, how do I say this? And I realized it's literally McIntyre. I hope that I spelled it correctly. I do believe that the M is capital and then so the I is also capital. If I didn't, please tell me but let's go ahead and click and fill out we're gonna go in with the picture right in the middle and again with our title this book was honestly super interesting and i don't really know if i mean that in a good way honestly i don't think i do <laughs> i'm sorry i've just spent a lot of time on this book and 
considering the fact that I didn't end up actually finishing the book that I read before it, which was Hot Streak, I felt like I was kind of like, okay, I really want to make sure that I finish this book because I didn't finish Hot Streak and I am trying to do a challenge here, my first book challenge, and I really want to complete it. Oh, I think I forgot the tea. All right, there we go. Now, for the time that I read it, I am a little bit embarrassed because I felt like it took me some time to read it, but that's mostly because I was just caught up in a lot of stuff during August. So I started reading it on August 9th, already starting off late in the month, and then I stopped reading it on September 11th. Okay, there we go. Next, we're going to fill out the genres. For the genres, I would say romance. I think this is definitely more adult rather than young adult. Romance, adult, there is smut. So I think I will do, is smut a genre that I put? I'm not sure, but I will put smut. Violence isn't a genre, but it is something that's involved. And I kind of want to have that noted because there is some violence in this book. Honestly, I think that's all I really have to put about this book. Beyond that, I don't really think this book had much going. No shade. Now for tropes, the tropes that we had was enemies to lovers, obviously. There we go. I'm dyslexic, so y'all are not gonna catch me trying to spell that. Um, anyways, enemies to lovers. What other tropes would I say that there was in this book? There was forced marriage. There's enemies to lovers, forced marriage. Mm, what else? What else? What else? What else? I don't really think there's any other tropes besides that. Not that I can think of. There probably are, but please don't come for me, okay? Please. Now, for book format, of course, as usual, we have paperback. All right, for my rating, I actually I actually edited the way I do my ratings in my rating journal, but I think that I can do it nicely over here. I think I'm going to give this book two stars because this book was definitely something, honestly. I think I'm going to go for the messy star drawing this time. Oh, that is definitely something. Okay. And honestly, I feel like two stars even is generous, but I feel like this book drove me really crazy in a way, um, this book drove me really crazy and annoyance, but I can appreciate that because although I dislike bad books, if a book is going to be bad, I want it to be like crazy bad. So I can at least be like, this is insane. I hate it, I love it. You know what I mean? Now, do I think I have a favorite? Whoa, that's a good question honestly there were some things that julian said that i did like though i did not like julian himself he definitely was sassy and every once in a while you know he had something that i i, I was perhaps amused by julian from time to time let's see if i can find something okay here it is so basically i think i don't remember what they're doing it was smut which we're not gonna talk about this in this book right now, please. But he says, don't interrupt me while I'm staring at my wife. I like that one. I won't lie, I, 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 I kinda like that one. Most memorable moment. What do I think the most memorable moment in this book was? Honestly, there were a lot of moments in this book that I think were definitely interesting or caught my attention. Jesus, the two moments that come to my head are both violent and bloody, which is one when Julian cuts off Ian's and shoves it in his mouth. There's that. And then so the second one is honestly when Raya, who is Yasmin's, our main character's best friend, gets shot. That was traumatizing to me because she had been just such a good friend throughout the whole book and the fact that she just got shot. And because after that, we, didn't, we wouldn't check if she was okay immediately. The Yasmin literally leaves. So I'm thinking, oh my gosh, they got Raya. They got my girl Raya. Free Raya. Free. <laughs> I remember saying that. Free Raya. I'm going to say that. I think that's probably the most memorable moment for me. All right, next. What did I absolutely hate? I won't lie. There were probably a lot of things that I absolutely hated. Um, 
you know let's let's start the other way let's talk about my favorite character my favorite character honestly the only favorite character i have was raya i honestly did not really like anybody else in this book i'm not gonna lie because i felt like raya was the only person who was genuinely trying to help yasmin out of her situation um i didn't like her dad because i mean not raya's dad i didn't like yasmin's dad because he was misogynistic and he was just like i didn't like julian because he was just very violent and just kind of had really violent towards violent thoughts towards yasmin all the time at least for like a majority of the book and it was kind of like um okay and i didn't like aiden because in the end he literally switches up um and kisses her without her consent anyways let's see for absolutely loved i honestly don't think that there was anything that i absolutely loved in this book and that's kind of unfortunate to say you know what there was a moment that i did love um there's a moment in the book where julian is visiting his mom with yasmin and he makes yasmin a plate of food kind of like picking things from like everything that his mom has made on a plate for yasmin i think that is one thing that i absolutely loved for absolutely hated there was honestly a lot in this book that i hated i hated her dad because she really tried to make him seem like he was this amazing man when he was clearly misogynistic he just did not care for jasmine really he kept her inside or he kept her at school simply because he didn't want her near him which i understand him not wanting her to be involved in the business but at the end all it did was make jasmine coddle she couldn't drive she went to school for something that she didn't really care about and she had to take a photography class in secret and that was like the epitome of going behind her dad's back to her and Julian I didn't like because Julian was just violent and uh, the whole book. Aiden was too. So I think I'm going to say that I hated the men in this book. I hated all of them because Ian, even Ian, who was another man in this book, who was Julian's assistant, he said disgusting comments about Yasmin and then he also ended up double crossing Julian. So I'm just going to say that all the men in this book are what I absolutely hated. Yay! Okay, now let's go on to our big final let it out section where I get to essentially spew everything I think about this book. Thankfully, I have written it down and this is also probably what I'm going to say when I do my books and beauty video on this um, book. I said, Honestly, this book was low-key just Yasmin having Stockholm Syndrome and convincing herself she loved Julian. The truth is, I think this book is very predatory. Yasmin is a victim of all the men in her life. Her father has kept her coddled and caged. The two men who love her are using her, Aiden for the lamp and Julian for her father's company. There is no part in this book where Yasmin and Julian connect beyond the smut. He is often having violent and sexual thoughts about her, which made me very uncomfortable. Though I don't care about the age difference, him knowing her since she was 18 and even hating her back then was uncomfortable. Also, the lamp plot was stupid. I know that what you guys are probably seeing on the screen is not the same as what I'm saying, but that's mostly because of when you do voices text, it doesn't really get it, but hopefully you guys know what I mean. I'll, I'll fix it off screen. But honestly, that's really how I feel about this book. I think that this book was not really, I, when I think of enemies to lovers, I want enemies to lovers where the only issue is the fact that they're enemies. I understand like the manipulation tactics and all that stuff, but I feel like there was nothing in this book that turned that enemies to lovers. There was no part in this book where I felt like, okay they're starting to understand each other there's something different about each other the only thing that i believe the book could use as justification was yasmin being a people pleaser and i guess um her knowing about the fact that julian's mom and her family was abusive beyond that the only thing these two people had going for each other was the fact that they were together for so long meaning like you know she moved in with him and spent a lot of time with him and then also the fact that they fucked and that's really the bottom line that's really the bottom line anyways back to library three where we are going to add in our new book which is heartstopper volume one now i'm super excited to start reading the heartstopper books um i probably plan to read all three in order i know that there's more than three 
but um, I'm also gonna do it in combination with the TV show and the TV show at least of right now only has two seasons but I believe that the second season is coming out soon and hopefully by the time the third season comes out I can read them back to back and then watch the seasons back to back and although we cannot fill out a lot of this section, we are going to fill out what we can. We are going to add our picture or our cover. Next, I have not started reading it. I know, I know, I know. But I think that I can add genres, although I don't really know in specific what kind of genres this book has. I know that it is obviously romance. Being young adult. I think I think this book kind of does count as coming of age. We have Kit Connor's character who is Nick Nelson who is um, realizing that he is bisexual and that he does in fact have a crush on Charlie. So I think that counts as coming of age. I think I kind of want to add mental health onto here. I know that doesn't really count as a genre, at least I don't think so. I don't know how that works. But I want to add it because I think that the mental health aspect in this book, the mental health and kind of um, like the worsening mental health is an aspect of this book and the TV show that I think is very important. So I think I'm gonna leave the tropes aspect empty and maybe come back when I have finished reading the book to fill that part out. But I can fill out the part for book format and we are going to do paperback. All right, we have filled out what we can for our Heartstoppers entry into our 12 book reading challenge. And I think now before I end this video, it is time for me to check off one more of our lovely gold tracker bows. Although I would love to instead be checking two for Heart Streak and Twisted, I'm gonna take what I can get. And plus, Heart Streak was a whirlwind. If you haven't seen my video on Heart Streak, you should definitely go watch it because that book was a lot. But that is the end of this video. Please make sure to check out my 12 book challenge. It is super pink and is very inspired by bows, as you can tell. If you are someone like me who wants to challenge yourself to read more books, I would absolutely go for it because I have managed to read seven books so far this year. I am excited and although I have missed a book, that does not mean that I don't have the chance to redeem myself before the year is over. Thank you so much for watching. The link for this reading journal will of course be in the description. Please make sure to subscribe because I'm on the road to 300 subscribers and it would mean a lot to me if I got there. And I believe that's all. Please check out my Etsy shop and my social medias, which are linked in the description. Thank you so much for watching one more time and I love you. Bye. Mm.